that's what I that's what I've experienced. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So usually, I think the laser cuts somewhere between like one mil. It's like one millimeter max. It's like how how thick the laser should will, will, might might end up taking out. Um, so you should account for that much leeway. And this is something that you have to really like. It's, make sure when you're designing the rhino or whatever, you set your tolerance to to pretty be pretty precise, like a sixteenth of an inch or so, and because um, an eighth of an inch could make a huge difference in how how your files cut. But yeah, so basically, you, you should have your files ready. You should have it ready well beforehand. Make sure it's, everything is good. Make sure that you save down in. Um, if you're using AutoCAD, you save down to 2007 because you only have two hours a week or whatever. And so if you go and you're, you realize you can't open your file, you have to run back up and change it. And so just kind of minor things that you should keep in mind while you're working. Um, yeah, and then I guess you want to make sure that the, the material fits the bay too. I think um, it's 30, 30, 32 by 18, and one in the blue one, and 24, 24 by um, 12 in the other. So you should have that cut beforehand, uh, place it in. Make, you should probably make it a bit like a quarter of an inch smaller on each side too, just because to make sure it fits. Because if it's bowing, if it's bowing in the bay, then it's not going to cut right, and you're going to get basically what will happen is if it's not focused, your edges won't be won't be like this. They'll be like this, and it doesn't look good, and uh, you could have some issues later. Um, but yeah, just make sure. I would I would go over like the the laser instructions every single time you do it. Because if you don't focus, if you forget to focus, if you get forget to align it or you change the height or something and you go through your whole piece and then you're it's it's wrong. Like you, know, you have to run get more material. You don't might not have time. And really like you want to make sure that you get you only do one cut. Because you know if the if the laser doesn't go all the way through the material, and sometimes you'll get it where like, it's right there because it's almost through. Um, you basically, I would start over. Because if you try to do it again, it's going to cut slightly off, and you're not going to have this, the same exact piece that you um, And then, yeah, when you're cutting, I like, bring containers and stuff to organize my pieces. Just because it, it, when it gets complex, you don't want to lose it. I use server cups. I just go and like, take 10 paper cups and then label them and um, have them. And, I, and then I use uh, this stuff to, to organize these pieces or whatnot. Um, that way you just know what you have, what you need to do. Um, usually organize my files, so you have each bay in a row, and you just go down, down, down the list. Um, and then, yeah, I guess when you assemble it, you need to make sure that you're, using, you're working in a very well ventilated place because you're gonna get sick. I mean, the stuff that, the materials that used to adhere the pieces were really bad for you. Um, so that means wear a mask. I, think I bought my own mask last year just because I'm working with so much about saying it really off. I think, I mean, you'll use it for foam and for spraying as well. So you don't just use a little paper mask? No, you, you need the, like, the, the whole ventilator. I, mine's upstairs. But the stuff that they have in the, uh, the foam room, basically. Because um, otherwise you're going to get high and uh, you're going to make a mistake. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, and then basically it's like working with other any other material. You have to make things to make it model. They're not going to be in the model, but they're going to help support it. I mean, they're going to help, like, um, yeah, help you build it, and then you remove it, and then you'll have this pristine model. So um, I guess I'll show you what I use to, uh, to adhere stuff. Basically, I use this for most stuff. There's also another thing called Pro Weld, which is um, this little little canister that you can get at GNG. Basically, that's more intense Pro Weld. Um, Where did you get this? So I got that at Aero Shield, which is one of the Flexi suppliers. And um, yeah, basically that's like twice as intense as Pro Weld. So it's, I think for for this it was really helpful. So, no. So basically, how how this stuff works is it. It breaks down the material, like it makes it kind of gooey, and then it reforms the material. So, so it's it's actually like melting it and then drying again. Um, and
And so for this stuff, is that's what I use to build these. So if you look at say like the um, there's gaps here, and there's the um, they only meet basically at the corners at the edges, and so I use that and I just lined it over and over, and over and over time, it um, it rewelded it back together. But, yeah, that, that stuff is like 20 bucks at Arrow, Arrow Shield. I don't know where else you can buy it, but. Um, you, um, you set them at the right angle and then you went from the bottom, from back and brushed yeah, it? Yeah, this, this one was a bit more difficult because. Um, yeah, I can imagine doing anything like this. But this is the interior, so you. Yeah, you so what them. I had was, I had, if you, I had these things laid out, um, and I would tape them. I, would, I, I taped all of these in a row, so I like unfolded it, taped it with this stuff and started to um, wrap it around these pentagonal things, stick stuck in the holes. So you have some rigidity already, and tape it, kept on taping it basically. And then I just went in and constantly um, brushed over with this stuff. And you wanna get a, like one of these brushes from GNG, um, something that doesn't have anything that will be affected by your um, material. If you get some plastic or metal brushes, sometimes they'll start to erode because this stuff is so intense. So I use this wooden model brush, it was 250. Just bought it this morning, actually. Um, but then you can, I mean, you can get, you can get bigger sizes as well, but um, that way you can, you, can, you can brush on quickly and easily. So, um, yeah, I use that, Pro Weld, and then there's this solving cement too, which I got at AeroShield, which is, um, it's a bit more, it's not as clean, basically. It's, it's cement, it's not, it's not a, um, a welding material. But um, does it fill? It fills gaps. It will fill gaps better, um, but like I said, you, you sacrifice basically appearance. It's dry clear. Or, it dries clear, but it's like um, what's that stuff you guys use? Styrene glue. Styrene glue. Yeah, uh, but it's Is like it similar. It's similar. In, it, it's similar in that a, a cement, but it's like this kind of compound, whatever it is. It, so it actually it does weld though. So it like welds. It, it breaks weld, down the plastic. Yeah, but at not not quite as intensely. Um, it's a bit more sticky. I'm not exactly sure. I don't use it. It's like much. glue paper. Like I know, let's see, weld won't glue paper. Um, it, I don't know. It might. I've never even used it. But I don't think you would want to use it. It doesn't look like it. Um, I think it, it it does. I think basically it's the same thing. It breaks down and rebuilds, but it is more usable. So in what? situation when you use that. You can, well, the thing about this is because it's got viscosity, you can kind of glue it up, lock it on. So if, if I wanted to do something on an interior that was going to be invisible, mm -hmm. and wanted to make sure that wasn't going to fall apart, mm -hmm. then I would use that. Okay. Um, these ones are, they're, they're very more fragile. Rigid connections, but they're thin. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so I use that, and then the last thing I use is hot glue. Not for everything, but for some things. Um, I used it a lot here actually to make these um, these joints and just paste them in here. Um, it's really fast. It's 